I feel like being an immigrant is a constant pressure of having to prove yourself that you're good enough. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today I have for you kind of a different video. I have no idea how this video is going to go about or what I'm going to say. This has been going around in my mind lately and I just wanted to sit down and vent to you guys about basically my experience about being an immigrant in the United States. Throughout the years I've always felt like I've never really been from here or from there and I just wanted to voice my opinion about it. I was actually inspired by a girl named Holly here on YouTube. She also filmed a video similar to this one talking about her experience about being an immigrant and how she felt like she was a gringa in Mexico and also living here being a Mexican so yeah I'm also making this video in Spanish which will be listed down below for you guys I really want to start uploading more often there because many of you have been asking for it go and subscribe and check out the video but let's begin I'm low-key nervous about this one all right so where do I begin as many of you guys know I was born in Dominican Republic I came when I was nine years old and those were one of the hardest years for me because I basically came with a negative mentality to the United States. So that on its own made it a hundred times worse for me to adapt and learn the language and get used to this new country, this new culture, this new language. It was just one of the hardest years of my life. When we came here, I lived in Long Island for a few years. I started in fourth grade over there. It was quite hard for me to adapt. I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself a lot in this video, so bear with me. But basically, it ended up taking me about three years to learn the language and usually for kids they're supposed to learn a lot faster but since I low-key hated living here and I never wanted to live in the States it was a lot harder for me to like be open-minded and want to learn the language so I forcedly like didn't want to learn the language so that definitely slowed down the process for me that being said I was also bullied for many many years in school about my language about being a hick or not speaking properly or not knowing the language I was I was bullied a lot but I mean made fun of because bullied is a word that people throw a lot so I was made fun of a lot in school which is normal but I definitely hated it I used to cry probably every single day I used to tell my mom that I wanted to go back to DR that I didn't like it here and it was it was hard I feel like I lived a really good life in DR I mean I was in a private school I played tennis I was in a chess championship thing I don't know it was fun at least that's just how I remember it obviously my mom struggled a lot to make it look that way for me back to being in the states little by little I did start to adapt I started making more friends and started to be a little bit more open-minded about learning the language started to want to force myself to speak better to speak proper to not have a Spanish accent or a hick accent and it was like a constant pressure on myself to want to be someone that I low-key wasn't. I feel like being an immigrant is a constant pressure of having to prove yourself that you're good enough or that you're equal to somebody that was either born here or first generation of immigrants. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's a constant competition and constant like having to prove yourself when why? Now that I remember, it took me like five years to go back to DR for the first time after living here and I was 13 or so. It was one of the most bittersweet feelings I've ever had because it was like a joy of going back to somewhere that was everything for me and I loved dearly but then also not feeling like you're no longer from there <sighs> I'm not gonna cry I went back to family I was there for like maybe two months or a month and it felt different it felt like I was no longer from there it felt like people looked at me different it felt like I wasn't Dominican enough anymore. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy my vacation, I did enjoy my time there being with family, but it was the first time that the question of, wait, where am I from? Like, I, I feel like I'm not from here, I feel like I'm not from there. And it was the first time that thought came to my mind. Then later on throughout the years, I ended up doing Miss Dominican Republic, as some of you guys know. So Miss Dominican Republic has always been a dream of mine, but then moving here, I felt like, whoa, how am I going to be Miss DR if I'm not living there? And then I found out they had a competition here that basically it takes one girl to go to DR and be the community, Comunidad de los Estados Unidos. So I was Miss Dominican Republic US 2011, and it was one of the most amazing experience for me because I felt like whoa I am representing my country I'm doing like something that I love and I'm representing my country so I went to DR and shocker I wasn't Dominican enough to so everybody there the girls competing there I was the gringa I was a girl that Mm, you're not Dominican, do you even speak Spanish? And I'm like, si, sí, yo hablo español. So it started to become again having to prove myself back in my country where I was born to prove myself that I am Dominican. I'm like, I was born here, I speak Spanish, I, I speak fluent Spanish, I'm more Dominican than you are. You know, like I, I had to constantly have to prove myself 
So these girls that were competing with me are people in DR that, yes, I, I do deserve this because I am Dominican. Because I live in another country doesn't mean I'm not Dominican enough. Actually, it means that I'm more Dominican because I'm proud to be Dominican living in another country, showing people in a foreign country like the United States that Dominicans are awesome, that we have a lot to offer, and basically showing my culture to another culture. That being said, that was another culture shock for me where I felt like I wasn't from there or from here. And all these questions start to come to mind again, like, wait, where am I from? Like, who am I? Even when I speak Spanish, especially to somebody else that's fluent in Spanish, I get super nervous. Even though I know Spanish, and even though I know I'm fluent in Spanish, I get nervous and I'm like, wait, am I saying it right? Do I sound eloquent? Do I sound proper? It's been a constant pressure, basically having to speak proper Spanish, having to speak proper English, having to adapt to a new culture, having to keep my old culture and maintain it, it's it's hard. It's hard. It's a lot of work and it's a constant pressure. The reason why all this came to mind recently is because I saw both of my passports. I have dual citizenship, so I have the American and the Dominican, but then I feel like where am I from? Like, which one am I more of? Or which one do I have to prove myself that I'm more of? I've lived with a constant struggle of doubting myself. Like, I doubt myself every single time I talk. Every time I speak in Spanish or speak in English or write something in English or write something in Spanish, I constantly doubt myself. Doubt if it's correct or if it's a proper way of saying it or writing it. I usually always catch myself asking my best friend if my caption is written right or if I said it right in the video. Even for videos, I am always constantly doubting myself because there's certain ways words that I have trouble with. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because some people tend to ask me like how is it being bilingual? Is it hard? Or which language do you think with? And I never really thought about that. Like I never thought like oh I use my English voice inside or I use my Spanish voice inside. You know what I mean? Like I never thought about that until recently. I feel like when you're bilingual it just comes natural but I'm not gonna lie it is hard sometimes to switch from language to language or you do it without even knowing because i do that a lot with my best friends when i'm talking to them in spanish we switch to english or vice versa and then people look at us like oh you're talking and i'm like no we do it unintentionally or without knowing you know what i mean but yeah that basically sums up my experience about being an immigrant in the united states being a hispanic immigrant on top of that i hope you guys find this video so more relatable and it wasn't all over the place and you get to know a little bit more about me and who i am i personally love living in the states now and being american and having dual citizenships but i am so so proud of being hispanic and dominican so dominican power latino power all the way i definitely want to start incorporating a little bit more of my roots in this channel and and start making more Spanish videos because so so many of you guys have been requesting that that being said this video is in Spanish in my Spanish channel so go and check it out subscribe give it a thumbs up and see you next time guys thank you so much for watching I love you but mm, this subject definitely gets me emotional every single time I talk every single time states anyways come on What's the weather outside? I mean, leave it to New Yorkers to, you know, have a little bit of heat. It's currently 50 degrees outside. You don't have to show off, man. To DR, you're kidding me right now. You're kidding me right now.